you're funding a couple months ago, 27 billion. You got another uh, funding you can talk about today. It's, a, it's you got a billion and a half that values your company at 31 billion. It just keeps going up, up, up. Well, we think we're just getting started, um, first and foremost, and we think we have an enormous opportunity in front of us. And um, you know, we've been at this for 11 years now, but I mean, we're truly in the first inning of the game. So. Um, you know, we've built a, a nice business in Fanatics Commerce, which is our you know, kind of leading license business. The collectibles business that we started two years ago is doing really well. And we're excited to enter gaming. Um, by the way, with you as our number one customer, I mean, we're, we're going to crush gaming. Uh, so you, you're in the Direct first, transfer from CNBC to Fanatics. Are you in the first the first quarter? Let's say first quarter might be more. Uh, we got nine like, more of these? We, we feel like we're in the first inning. Oh, my God. Um, so what I was going to add, I, I don't know whether Fanatics, uh, does inflation, does a recession, does it cool things off? Or is uh, that of, of course. It Look, does, a little. Yeah, I mean, our business this year, our biggest business, which is Fanatics Commerce, which will be, you know, next year will be close to a $7 billion division. Um, you know, that business is going to grow um, nearly 20%. But I think we're going 25%, you know, maybe even 30% had um, the economy been stronger. I think every business... Mm -hmm that sells to the consumer is affected by what's going on right now. And are, you need to be Are you seeing that already? Definitely. We've been seeing it, um, I think, really since, you know, kind of May, June. You saw kind of a deceleration, but it's still a really strong business. I mean, e-commerce sales this holiday season, which I think is right. the best barometer, is the most recent barometer, we're up um, about 20%. Um, but we're, we're super cautious every day. You need to be conservative. But is it, a, is it different in terms of volume, number of products, or the kind of product? I mean, we were talking to Andy Jassy last week, and he was saying, you know, people were buying crazy big TVs. Now they're actually, they're still buying the TVs. They're just buying smaller TVs. Yeah, look, our top sellers are still jerseys, hats, T-shirts, um, you know, Mitchell Ness, which we acquired earlier this year. But um, there's no question that any consumer, every consumer business is affected by what's going on right now. But I think if you have, what's different is that sports has so much secular growth. And I think that yeah, is probably you, the one you're, thing. You're a, it's a second derivative problem for you. It's not that the growth is down. It's, that, or it's not that the, the sales are down. It's, it's the, the sales growth might be moderating slightly. And the, what we, we went into the year thinking, we went into last year and this year thinking logistics would be more challenged. You know, business would be more complicated, and that when the government stopped giving away free money, the comps would get more complicated. It wasn't, you know, there were no surprises for us this year, to be honest. Well, I just wonder how that plays out in the gaming industry. Obviously, it's a huge, fast-growing industry. There's a lot of competition there. And yeah. All of a sudden, I mean, we watch it in in our business too. People who were day trading had a lot of excess cash sitting around during the day. Were willing to put that money to work in the market yeah. in in almost a gambling sort of mentality. Yeah. How gaming does that play is out? more, um, I'd say. Uh, recession resistant than other businesses. So I think if if we would have been up 25%, now we're up 20% in our core e-commerce, you know, push on the merchandise business, I think gaming will feel it a little bit, but I think they'll feel it a little bit less, to be honest.